Hello, hello, hello. I'm here with another book and movie review on Beautiful Creatures by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. In Beautiful Creatures, our main character is named Ethan Waite. He lives in this small southern town and Lena Duquesne is the new girl who has just moved in with her uncle, Mr. Ravenwood. He's basically the Boo Radley of this small town. He is a shut-in, no one has really ever seen him and people are just very judgy about it. So when it's her first day of school, everyone's just kind of repelled by her because she's related to the town shut-in. That's not very good for your social status. But Ethan Waite is a little curious about her. I went into this book knowing as little as possible about it and with very high expectations because I've heard so many fantastic things about it and my expectations were certainly met. I really enjoyed this book. It was so good. I also wasn't expecting this to be written from a male perspective. I don't know why, but I'm really glad it was because I loved Ethan Waite. I thought he was a fantastic male protagonist. He's just really funny and I, I really do love him. And then we also have all the other characters. There's Lena. She's quite troubled, mysterious. There's there's just a lot going on. I quite liked her as well. I'm not sure if I love her though, but I think that's maybe because of the movie, possibly. I'll get onto that later. But one of my other favourite characters was Emma. I love her. She's just... she doesn't put up with any of anyone's crap. No nonsense. She's just... I love her. <laughs> I really do. And then there's also all the other supporting characters. There's some that I really liked and some that I like to hate. Just all around goodness. And then there's a writing as well. I think it did really well with describing the setting. It really had a rich southern atmosphere to it, which is good because that's where the book is set in, so. And I also really like the mystery aspects in this book. It really keeps you wanting to know what is going to happen at the end and just... I really, really, really enjoyed Beautiful Creatures. I'm so excited to get onto the sequels and everything. I gave this one a 5 out of 5 stars. Now onto the movie. The main thing about the film was it really confused me. With book to movie adaptations, I go in expecting there to be changes, and I try to separate the two so that I can enjoy the movie as a movie rather than a movie adaptation. But with this one, I just... Mm, it was very confusing. Pretty much they changed one of the biggest plot points, so that changed everything else. And I think with the film there were quite a few plot holes. I think that some of the changes did work quite effectively and it kind of added a bit more drama to the movie. But overall I think it was a huge amount to change and I think it was a little bit unnecessary. But moving on from that, uh, the actors and the characters. First of all, I loved Ethan. I love his character and I think the actor that they chose for him were perfect. He had me cracking up laughing. He was, I just, he was really funny. <laughs> I think I was bent over in my chair laughing at one point. I don't know if I was being a bit over the top but. <laughs> I did have a bit of a problem with Lena's actress though. I think for the most part she was quite good but one of the major things was the actress didn't know how to cry which really irked me because there'd be moments where she's sobbing with her head down then she looks up, there's no tears in her eyes, they're not even slightly red, and I'm just like, mm, really? If you're going to be a good actress, you have to be able to cry when you're supposed to cry in a scene. You know, you know, that was the main thing that bugged me. One of the characters that I was annoyed they changed was Emma. In the film, she was a combination of two characters from the book, and so she was completely different from the Emma in the book, who I love so that was a little bit disappointing. But apart from that, I quite liked the casting. I thought the acting was really good, and especially Emmy Rossum, I think she's a fantastic actress. I loved her as Ridley. So overall, I was a bit disappointed with the film and all the changes that they made, but I think Ethan was one of the main redeeming points for the film. I thought he was great. I really did. So I give the film a three out of five stars. And yeah, that is all that I have for you for this review. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought about the book and the movie in the comments below and I will see you guys next time. Bye!